All right, we will begin in about three minutes. How's everyone doing tonight? All right, let's go ahead and start checking Facebook and I will check the website. So give me just a moment here. All right, so we got a couple guests tonight. Hello, everyone. So give me just a minute here, we will get started. All right, let's go ahead and check Facebook, see how Facebook is rolling here. All right, let's go ahead and check the sound, sound check. Testing, 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 testing. testing. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's give me just a, about another minute and we will get started here. All right. So Facebook is all set up, ready to go. Website's ready to go. All right, about another 30 seconds and we will get started. All right. Hello, Marty. See so you jumped on. All right, it is seven o'clock, so let's go ahead and get started. Again, thanks, thank you everyone for jumping on tonight. I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and kick it off. So happy Tuesday, everyone. Yam Shlishi and welcome mouth pagers. Hope everyone has had a great day, had a great week, and it is almost the weekend again i'm so excited we are just three days right well four days if you want to count tonight so we are almost ready to let out the hair and enjoy the weekend so i am rabbi yak located outside of san francisco mouth page is an online spiritual community and we are an online jewish synagogue so every Monday through Thursday, we do live weeknight motivations at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every Friday is our Shabbat service live at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please check out our service either live on Facebook or on our website. So for those of you who are new to our community, our weeknight motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for a week ahead. I try to make them short and powerful. Usually last about 10 minutes, sometimes a little less sometimes a little more. So we have been going live now for 15 weeks. Yay, 15 weeks. And we are now over, as of today, we are over 7,000 diehard mouth pagers following us and liking us on Facebook. So really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. 
So I hope you find our community a place where you can grow spiritually. So please tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone. Let's get our community over 8,000. Please continue to help us grow the MouthPage community worldwide. The more people we can connect with, the more people we can help grow spiritually. So please feel free to chat with one another, either on Facebook or on our website. All right, so let's go ahead and kick it off. We will do the Declaration of Faith in One God. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. And in Hebrew, Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kavod, Mahu Tolel Ambayed. So every night I post Mouth of the Days. It's our version of Word of the Day. So check it out. Hope you guys like it. I uh, hope you guys like the little cute little owl or the cute apple. So if you happen to miss any of our services, we have them archived on Facebook or on our website under the media tab, live stream, and you can go to the archive section. Also, you can uh, check out our YouTube channel at Mouthpage Spiritual Community. So last night, we did uh, the Ecclesiastes series part one. So tonight, we're going to do Part two, a time to keep and a time to throw away. So what does that mean to you? A time to keep and a time to throw away. And how does this relate to being motivated? Good question. How can you motivate something if you're just going to keep something like like a hoarder, right? Or throw something away like trash. Why is that going to get you pumped up for the rest of the week? How, right? Here's my spin on a time to keep and a time to throw away. So what do you keep? Things that make you smile. Cards, gifts, notes, messages. You know, you, however you want to take the messages, right? Those are the things that you want to keep. Things that make you smile, laugh, even cry in an emotional, joyous way. Good memories you want to keep. You God's gifts, like things that you know that God gave you, that there is no way you could have got this from anywhere else in the world. So you want to keep that. Even if it's metaphorically speaking, you don't want to forget about it. Bibles, right? You want to keep the Word of God close to the heart. Religious library. You know, Jews are very, very... Uh, conscientious about growing their library, their Jewish library, all kinds of different books. I know a lot of uh, religious organizations who they have religious libraries. They have all kinds of different things that they can keep and they can refer back to if they want to check something out. That's another thing you'd want to keep. Pictures. How many of us have pictures in our phones and when we switch our phone, we lose those pictures and we're freaking out, right? We're freaking out. We want to keep those pictures. Recipes. Now, why is recipes something you want to keep? Well, like my grandma, she's got food recipes from years and years and years ago, you know, way back when. And now... I look back at the things that she made and you're like, wow, I wish I would have, you know, I wish I would have got that recipe or I wish I would have kept that because all I keep thinking about is, you know, her dumpling soup, but I don't know how to make it. Recipes, super important in my opinion. Knowledge, knowledge from friends and family. That's huge. And from God, of course, knowledge, knowledge that you were given. A huge thing to keep. Advice. Lots of different advices out there. You know, my dad gave me advices when I was a kid, and I kept it to this day. Same thing with my mom, you know, my wife. Everybody who's given you advice, you know, filter that because it's something very important. You know, learning experiences. You know, for example, driving. You know, I've been in, you know, I've been in several accidents in 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 my day, and it makes you a better driver. It helps you. Learn the things that you need to do to do better. Same thing with God. You know, the things that you messed up on is the things you need to improve on. Learning experiences. 
So what do you throw away and get rid of? Well, in my opinion, bad memories. Evil things, things that maybe, you know, like say for example, you're on a diet and you're tempted to eat food that you know is going to expand your waist size. Well, you know you want to get rid of that, right? You want to get rid of the bad, evil things, <laughs> items that produce evil. Again, you will know what that is, so you probably want to get rid of that. Things that you keep, things that keep you away from God, sorry, things that keep you away from God. That would be another thing that you want to get rid of, you know? Sometimes it could be a lot of different things that would want to keep you away. So, you know, for example, TV programs. Make sure, you know, you want to put God first. So the TV programs might be something, if a certain TV program is, is convincing you or, or different shows might be convincing you, uh, putting God away, then that might be something you want to maybe turn the channel. Learning experiences again, because you can have bad learning experiences that you want to get rid of. But nonetheless, they're experiences that you will learn from. But learning experiences are also something you want to get rid of because you don't want to repeat what you did before. Bad behaviors, right? Learning experiences, bad behaviors, you want to get rid of those. Things that make your loved ones mad or jealous. And other things that you might want to get rid of. If you have ex-girlfriends or ex-boyfriends, ex-husbands, ex-wives, and you have stuff from them, for you might be a good memory, but for your loved one that's living with you now, might not be a good idea. Just a thought, just something that, you know, again, my opinion, because again, we're trying to get rid of stuff that continues to produce spirituality in a positive way. So I hope you like my take on a time to keep and a time to get rid of. But like I always do at the end, I always have a word to take away. So a time to keep. So keep is going to be the word of the day. So K, kindness, is a way of helping others. E, every word means something. E, again, everything we find or everything we Find a way to get closer to God. So everything we do, we need to find a way to get closer to God. P, pay it forward. I see this all the time. Somebody does something good for you, you want to pay it forward and do something good for them and then have somebody else do something good and so on and so forth. So pay it forward. So before we end tonight's motivation, I like to close with prayers and birthday wishes. So I'd like to pray for healing for Bruce's surgery, Catherine's recovery from surgery, Alice and Bill's healing, uh, Stephanie's healing, uh, and her family as well. Fellow Rabbi Paul Walker, who is undergoing cancer treatment, Ren's healing, Mikey and Vicky's healing, Kenny's illness, Ceci's illness, and Kenya and Linda's healing as well. Happy birthday to Leslie and Joey. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's motivation. A little bit um, shorter tonight than last night. So again, I told you roughly around 10 minutes, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. So tonight, give you some more of your time back. So I'd like to end with number 62327. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his conscience upon you and give you peace. In Hebrew, Yevarechacha Adonai V'yashemrecha, Yair Adonai Panav Elecha V'et Kunecha, Yisa Adonai Panav Elecha V'yasam Lecha Shalom, Amen. Amen. Check out Facebook tonight. I shared a video um, from YouTube. It's actually one of my friends who is a, an amazing singer. And check out the video I sent. I'm going to probably continue to send out more and more of his videos throughout the week. Also, Looks like next week, uh, I will confirm with him uh, over the weekend, but looks like next week he should be joining us live to give us a couple musical notes. So check it out. 
Again, next week is also starting of Passover. So we're going to be doing the Passover project from April 10th to April 18th. So check it out. Really appreciate it. So again, thank you so much for watching tonight. I want to wish all of you a happy week. Remember, help others to be nice. Oh, I almost fell off the wagon here for a second. Don't forget to uh, check us out on Facebook. If you haven't already, please like us and follow us. Our website is www.mouthpage.com. And we are also a nonprofit organization. Just say nonprofit organization. Say that ten times. So again, I want to wish all of you a happy week. Remember, help others to be nice. God bless and Lila Tov. Love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Hello, Mary. See so you jumped on. And thank you for watching. And I see hello guest 549 and guest 800 on the live chat.